Hey, how's it going? I hope you're doing good. Oh, how am I doing? Well, you see, the universe is vast and large and recently has made me feel particularly small. How fast time moves forward, how my actions might not matter in the future, or if I'll ever get to where I want to be. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit exaggerated, but why do I feel this way? Because half a semester has gone and passed since I've started my master's program. Welcome to my journey. I graduated from the University of North Texas to get my bachelor's of business administration and the focus of marketing. It was extremely difficult, but I was able to do it in two years. For such a short time that I had, I still had an amazing experience. I made connections with many talented people and had the opportunity to be in different leadership and job roles. I really couldn't have asked for a better college yeah. experience. Before graduating, I had already applied and been accepted to the master's program. Since I had a good overall GPA at the time, I didn't have to do my GED exam. Good riddance. Instead, I just had to write an essay and give three professional references which I received from supervisors and professors. The master's program is an approximate one-year accelerated program that mixes both online and on-campus courses. The thesis portion of the program will be replaced with a capstone course. While I don't have to write a thesis based on the circumstances, I have talked to a professor if I could still do one based on productivity and quantification in different marketing channels. I'll give an update if I ever receive any news on that. When I was asked by many of my peers if I was going to pursue my masters, I always said, sure. In reality, I didn't have more than a good enough reason other than I wanted to make more money. After some soul searching, I realized I wanted to do it to expand my skills in a more specialized role and interact in a community filled with talented people. Also, the reason why I have decided to record my journey is to help others along the way, whether it be in the marketing industry or getting a master's degree. It's just that. There were times when I wished there was someone I could have asked for help or look up to someone. There's this huge saturation in the marketing industry with people who believe marketing is all about social media, selling courses, SEO, or motivational speaking. It's much more than that. For me, marketing is about understanding the environment that we live in. It's not about selling a product to everyone. It's about providing a tool and telling a ever-changing story that relates to a specific audience that will be positively impacted by it. I hope as time goes by, we can both explore deeper to the full potential of marketing and its advantage to the digital and offline world. Now onto what the program's courses are. Since it's an accelerated program, I can only take four courses per semester. Each course usually lasts for eight weeks, which is also half a semester. Now, for the first half of the spring semester, I finished accounting and marketing management. I decided to choose these first to get them out the way. For the next eight weeks, I will be partaking in introduction to data analytics and marketing metrics. Super excited to dive into these concentrated courses. During the summer, I will be doing introduction to business decisions and financial management. It's a short semester, but I'm interested to see how it pans out since I'm looking forward to one and dreading the other. Then for the fall, I'll be back on the horse to tackle more courses. For the first half of the semester, I'm doing customer behavior and harvesting data. Both sound very cool, so I'll see how it goes. Then for the other half of the semester, I'll be taking discovering big data and advanced research and analytics. I could definitely see myself at this time period maturing into analytics and becoming more experienced in it. Finally, we have the winter semester with the last two courses in the program. One course I'll take is called Organizational Analysis and Behavior, while the other course, the program's capstone course, is called Administrative Strategy. These two will put me to the test, but I'll have to give it everything that I've got. I am hopeful that I can do that. 
So for the first half of the semester, I decided to choose accounting in order to not worry about it later on. I had to get managerial accounting by Hilton and Platt, which was bundled with McGraw Hill Connect for about $145. These were used in order to have access for the online assignments. Points distributed were as follows. I had to do 13 homeworks for 130 points, 13 quizzes for 130 points, participation was 40 points, the online midterm exam was 100 points, I had to do 3 cases which were about 100 points, and lastly I had to do a physical final exam which was about 150 points that ended up being a total of 650 points. I ended up getting 558 points or an 86 to be a little exact. Overall, it wasn't hard since the course was broken into four segments where all the corresponding assignments were due every two weeks. The cases and homeworks were quite simple for me while I had a tougher time on exams and quizzes since I didn't really know what to study for. Although I should have done assignments earlier in order to not worry, the overall gist of the course was not that difficult since all assignments were a true reflection of the textbook as long as you read it. On the other hand, I had a wild roller coaster with marketing management. I hope most courses take the two week segment route since the assignments in this course were due every week. The first textbook I had to get was Marketing Problems, a custom textbook version for $60 that is originally from Roger Karen and Robert Peterson for their 12th and 13th editions. This was used in order to have access to the case studies. The second textbook is called A Framework for Marketing Management by Philip Kotler and Kevin Keller, the 6th edition, which I was very lucky to get secondhand online for no cost at all. This was used to study for the quizzes. Percentage distributed was as follows. I had to do 6 cases that were equal to 39%, financial exercises that were 7%, the discussions were 12%, and I had to do 19 quizzes that were 38% and finally I had to do SONA which was about 4% for a total of 100%. I received a 96% by the end of the course which was helped by the extra credit I took advantage of. The quizzes and the rest of the assignments except for the case was fairly adequate. The cases however were difficult to do. With accounting at least the math was presented to you. But for this course, you had to fully understand what methods to do, why, and what numbers. It would have been okay if I had an extra week to do them, but I didn't, so the cases definitely took a toll on me. I survived and grew wiser, but it was a mountain to overcome. Overall, it was tough, but I know now what it would take to succeed in this program. Well, thanks for watching my video. That's all I have until the next finished semester. Hope you have a good one. Catch you later.